Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Rules of Thumb podcast with Dr. G. I'm your host, Nick Collinbow, and I write a weekly newsletter on all things musculoskeletal health and longevity. That means fewer aches and pains, and a better idea of what to actually do when they inevitably rear their ugly head. In this podcast, I will read to you my article of the week, so you can listen to it on the go. If video is more your thing, welcome to those of you watching on my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get into this week's article titled, What is a Boxer's Fracture? Does My Broken Hand Need Surgery? So in simple terms, a boxer's fracture is a broken bone in the hand. Specifically, the break occurs in the hand bone, or metacarpal, just near the knuckle of your pinky finger. As you might guess from the name, it almost always occurs from hitting an object. The force of the strike breaks the bone. Yes, it occurs in boxers, but let's be honest. Of every ten of these I see, nine come from intoxicated young men punching a wall. So how do I know if I broke my hand? As with many broken bones, the symptoms and diagnosis are fairly straightforward. You will notice pain, bruising, and swelling at the pinky finger knuckle and across the back of the hand. This may lead to stiffness or loss of motion as well. In some cases, the fracture is so bad, it will make your pinky finger crooked. What I see more commonly is a visual loss of the knuckle and a large bump about a centimeter closer to the wrist from where the knuckle once was. This occurs when the broken bone has angled down toward the palm if you're following along on the article, you can see the x-ray image below. We'll be sure to link that in the show notes. An x-ray will easily confirm the diagnosis, thus showing us a break through the fifth metacarpal neck, as seen below. An x-ray will easily confirm the diagnosis, thus showing us a break through the fifth metacarpal neck. Unfortunately, there's no secret trick to determining if you have a fracture without an x-ray. There's also no difference between a break, a crack, or a fracture. These terms all mean the same thing. So how's a boxer's fracture treated? The majority of boxer's fractures can be treated without surgery. There's a lot of natural mobility through the pinky finger side of the hand, which means that the fracture can heal very crooked and you can still have a normally functioning hand. But below are the typical criteria we use for surgery. So is the fracture angled toward the palm more than 50 or 60 degrees? Is there an extensor lag, which means are you unable to fully extend the pinky finger? Or is there any sideways angulation or rotation of the finger? The only caveat here is that if you and your doctor decide on non-surgical treatment, there will be a permanent visible loss of the knuckle. Uh, there will also be a new bump about a centimeter closer to the wrist from where the knuckle once was. This is a small deformity that should not have any real effect on the hand. It will essentially look like your knuckle moved. A small visual change like this typically does not justify performing surgery if the hand is otherwise functional. When I treat this without surgery, patients get a cast for a few weeks at most, and then we pretty quickly move toward rehab while the bone finishes healing. It usually takes six to eight weeks for full healing. If you do need surgery, we have a few different options depending on the specific pattern in which the bone broke. If it's very near the knuckle or shattered in pieces, we usually use smooth pins that stick through the skin known as K-wires. Other times, I'm able to use stronger fixations such as screws and plates. The stronger the fixation, the earlier we can start rehab after surgery. The earlier we start rehab, the less stiffness and more function that the hand will have. I'll be sure to set aside a future post specifically for a deep dive into the various surgical options to fix boxer's fractures. So some takeaways. A boxer's fracture refers to a specific pattern of fracture involving the pinky finger metacarpal near the knuckle. These are most common in, well, frustrated young males, to be frank. And most fracture patterns do not require surgery to regain full hand function. But if surgery is needed, we have multiple strategies available. Boxer's fractures are incredibly common, and the majority of them will do great with minimum treatment. But determining if your fracture falls into that category is an important discussion to have with a hand surgeon. Now that you have a grasp on the basics, I will be sure to build on this with more specific in-depth content on boxer fracture treatment in future posts. Thanks for listening. See you next time.